Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lloyd. I'm here today for another video and for today's video, I'm gonna be giving you tips for incoming college students. So, if you're an incoming college student, you might want to watch this video until the end. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. So let's start with the tips. Tip number one, be early. So this is both applicable for the upcoming online classes and for the normal, you know, the classroom setting form of class. So it's really useful for as a college student because if you're early on school, ganito kasi yung situation, di ba? You don't know your teacher. You might know her name, but you know you don't know her attitude. So, swerte ka na lang pag naka-timing ka na hindi terror yung teacher mo or your professor mo. So, what if terror yung professor mo? So, you should be preparing yourself and you should make yourself prepared for whatever the attitude of your teacher is. So, be early. Additional tip, it is really normal for a college student to encounter teachers who are terror. So, good luck. Being early is also important for online classes. Why? Because not all of us have a stable internet connection. So, sabihin natin, hindi stable yung internet connection nyo. And let's say, you have classes at 7.30. So, at 7 a.m. pa lang, nagpe-prepare ka na, pinaprepare mo na yung laptop mo, kung saan may signal, kung saan malakas yung signal. So, that kind of preparation is part of being early. So, be early. Tip number two, take down notes. Take down notes even on the very first day. Why? Because maaring may mga ibigay na mga instruction ng teachers natin or mga professor natin na maaring natin makalimutan. Kunwari, magibigay siya ng instruction kung anong bawal, anong pwede sa klase nyo. So kapag nakalimutan mo yun, once na tumingin ka sa notes mo, at least matatandaan mo ito. So take down notes. Tip number three, body-body system. For short, ito yung mga social influences natin, yung mga friends natin at mga barkada natin. Dahil first of all, you cannot survive college all by yourself. You're gonna be needing the moral support and all kinds of support from your friends and also those who are close to you, those who are, those who are special to you. So you're gonna be needing them and they're gonna be needing you. So it's a mutual benefit to you. So you should be helping each other. I also suggest that you should be joining clubs. It really plays a vital role as a college student. Why? Because katulad ko, so I'm a, I'm a marketing student and I joined our club, which is the Junior People Management Association of the Philippines. So, ito yung mga association ng mga marketing students. So, in that way, as a marketing student, I have the opportunity to meet the other marketing students in that so I could ask them questions kung may mga tanong ako. And in that way, I could also be gaining some friends, di ba? Tip number four, reach out to your teachers. So, alam ko na hindi lahat ay may kakaya, kakayahang makipag-usap sa mga teachers nila. So, one thing that I can say to you is, don't, never be afraid to reach out to your teachers no matter how tired they are. You just have to be showing some courtesy and, you know, just be kind in approaching them. And example, may tanong ka kung pwede ba ganito, pwede ba ganyan. Just be kind in, in asking and they're gonna be answering you. So, reach out to your teachers. Tip number five, analyze your study habit. So, study habit, ito yung paraan natin ng pag-aral. So, example, may upcoming exam tayo. So, ako, when I study, I like to be in a place na tahimik. So, that's my study habit. So, I stay in my room and I just bring my notes. So, in that way, I could like focus on studying and I could somehow answer on my quiz on the very next day. There are also some people who likes to listen to music, put their, you know, some people put their earphones while studying, which is sort of effective for them. So you should be analyzing your own study habit, and in that way you, you can really answer your quiz the very next day. Tip number six, analyze your study time. So I think na isa ito sa mga pinaka-importanting tip na maibibigay ko sa inyo. Kasi, um, I think each person have different study time. Study time means ano bang oras yung pinaka-effective na pagsa-study mo. So, personally, may personal study time is in the evening from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. So, I think that yun talaga yung oras na lahat ng pinag-aaralan ko ay papasok sa utak ko. So, it's really effective for me. So, for you out there, you should 
start to analyze your study time which is really effective for you. Tip number seven, never ever study 10 minutes before the exam. Why? Because para sa akin, 10 minutes or an hour before the exam, you should not, you're not supposed to study anymore. Why? You're supposed to be relaxing your brain. Kasi pag relax yung brain mo, yung utak mo, may iwasan mong magka-mental block during the exam. So I, this is a personal experience for me. Last year, first semester, when I had my accounting subject, Kasi yung accounting, you should be memorizing a lot of process, manghirap. So, 10 minutes or like an hour before, nagsa-study pa rin talaga ako. So, in the exam, there are really a lot of cases na nag-mental block ako. So, I think it's effective if you just study the night before or days before the exam. Tip number 8, set your priorities. So, there are a lot of factors that affect your life as a college student. Example, Kaka out ko lang sa last period na klase ko, and then I have an assignment to be submitted the next morning. So, as I went out of my class, my friends invited me to like go to the mall and buy something. So, instead of going to the mall with them, I set my priorities to just go home and make my assignment. Because I'm a student, I'm supposed to be making my assignments, right? Tip number nine, never procrastinate. Procrastinate means yung, kunwari, may gagawin kang, supposedly may assignment kang dapat gawin mo ngayon. Kaso, tinatamad ka, so sinasabi mo lang, mamaya na, mamaya na, hanggang sa hindi mo na talaga magawa. So, it's really important to avoid procrastination. So, as much as possible, pag may oras ka, gawin mo na agad. Kasi once you're done making your assignments, let's say, then you have the time, you have the benefit to like enjoy the rest of your time because wala ka nang dapat pang isipin pa kasi natapos mo na nga yung mga dapat mong gawin. So you have the time to chill. So never procrastinate. Last tip is to pray and believe in yourself. So in college life, you're gonna be going through a lot, lots and lots of ups and downs. So you just have to not feel down about yourself. Every failure doesn't make you less of a person. Instead, make it as a motivation to keep doing something, keep, you know, persevering in your college life. So, just trust in God and you're gonna graduate in time. So that's it for today's video. So these are just the tips that I can give you. I'm not saying that if it's effective on me, it's also effective on you. So these are just suggestions that I think it would really help you, especially if you're an upcoming college student. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Once again, it's Lloyd. Thank you for watching.